welcome to another episode of Check Out Basket. Today we are checking out a new item I found in my freezer department at my local supermarket. And it's for all those vegans out there, or friends that have vegans that come over. And you want to at least give them something to eat as well. It is the vegan friendly roll. Now these look like sausage rolls, awesome. But these have chickpea, spinach and caramelised onion inside them. So there's no meat at all involved. So these are vegan friendly rolls from Patty's that we're trying out today. Now they did have two instructions on how to cook these. So I did both. I cooked one in the microwave and one in the conventional oven. Now the one in the microwave took three minutes and said it needed two minutes to cool down, which they're cooling at the moment. And the conventional oven needed uh, 20 minutes in the oven at 165 degrees Celsius. All right, so I've got mine here. Let's cut open the oven one. Now it is crunchy. I can feel the, the, the pastry it just crunched. Inside you can see the chickpea and the spinach. Can't see very much onion, but you know, we're gonna taste that to find out. All right, let's see if this one is a bit crunchy. Now it's a little bit softer, but it's got still a bit of a crunch to it, but no, it's soft. The pastry's gone a little bit limp. That's okay. It's a little soft and, and doughy, but that's what you get when you cook it in the microwave. All the things inside there look pretty good. Now, these ones are for me. I have some more for my offsider who sits off camera to help you and me find out if these things are good or not. Taste test time. All right, so in front of you, you've got one that says O, which is for the oven, and the other one that says M, which is for microwave. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to cut them up so you can tell me how much of a crunch you get on the oven and how much of a crunch you get on the microwave. And if it's like, if there's a difference between the two when you're cutting into them. A difference, yes, there is a difference. The oven ones are slightly crunchier. Yep, yep. So the, the, the microwave ones are sort of still a little bit doughy in the middle uh, when you're cutting into it. A bit doughy in the middle. The pastry. It looks a little bit wetter than, than the um, the oven oven baked ones. Yeah. Uh, I think it's cooked through. Yeah, they're cooked, but it's 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 not as crisp as the oven baked ones. No, no, no not quite. As, not as crisp as. No. Alright, so we've got three each of, of both of them. Um, pack does come in a pack of 12, which is awesome. These are the Patty's vegan friendly rolls. A vegan? Oh, vegan friendly. No meat in them? No meat whatsoever. So there's cows and chooks and pigs all running around there happy? Very happy. What's in them? Chickpea, spinach and caramelised onion. Well, I like the sound of the, 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 the caramelised onion and uh, did you say spinach? Spinach, yep. Like, there, there, there is quite a good aroma coming off yeah. these. It, it's smelling amazing. They smell like normal... Sausage rolls? Sausage rolls. Yeah, look. So if you've got a vegan friend that comes over and you like having like party pies and sausage rolls, mm -hmm. whack one of these in your freezer. Because they take even quicker than it takes to uh, cook these than it is to cook a normal sausage roll, actually. Alright, shall we taste the microwave one first, please? Microwave? Yep, so that would be the M on your plate. Now I'm going to taste it by itself. Oh. I can taste the, um, the chickpea and the caramelised onion. Mm. That's actually not too bad. That flavour. You know that? Mmm. Alright, shall we taste it with a little bit of tomato sauce? Mmm. Yeah. That's not bad. Alright, so I think there's something more than just two pieces of spinach. I'm just going to read the, 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 uh, the ingredients. They've got herbs in them. Yeah. There is carrot. I thought I saw carrot in there. Yep, there is carrot, spinach, caramelised onion, chickpeas, a 
There's a few artificial things in here as well, but it's not nothing really to be concerned about. Balsamic vinegar, garlic, salt, herbs. Yeah, maltodextrin. There's chia seeds on the outside of it. Yeah. Well, personally, I'd eat that. If I was served that up, I wouldn't complain. I wouldn't complain at all. Now, shall we taste the uh, the oven baked one by itself? See if we get a different of a taste. Mm hmm. Different works well. Differently different. Mmm. Yeah, crisp, crispy on the uh, in the. Uh... I'll try it with a bit of dead horse, tomato sauce, the pastry. Would I dare to say that's even sweeter, nicer? I think it is a little bit. They're not as soggy. Well, I don't mind soggy. Mm. Eyes and that sort of thing. Pastries. But look. Three minutes in the microwave versus 20 minutes in the oven. If you're in a jam, you can get these things out pretty quick. Then you can be eaten in within five minutes. How, how long in the microwave? Three minutes. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd very much similar. Mm. I'd eat them definitely. Nice. All right. Is there much of a difference between the two being microwaved and non-microwaved? Seeing there's two types of uh, cooking instructions. Yeah, messier, me the, the, mic the ones that are uh, oven cooked, yep. slightly messier because they're crisper. The, the flaky pastry. Yes. Right. Whereas I like the, uh, the, the, the microwave ones because they got a, it stays together. A little bit, a little bit soggier. Yeah, I like that. Look. But that's my like. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm the other way around. I like my pastry a little flaky. So I, I, I'm, I'm all for these out of the oven. They're, they're, they're top shot. Out of the microwave? Look, I can deal with those. Bit of horse, dead horse on them, tomato sauce. And you're fine. You, you, you really can't tell the difference between the, the oven cooked and the, um, the microwave ones. Alright, score these out of five. Oh, oh, oh. I went back for more. <laughs> mm -hmm. So a score. Yep. I the fact that you told me they're vegan. Yep. I can't find a fault with them. Either the the ones from the oven or the microwave. They've got a nice taste. They're not, you know how you expect vegan to taste sort of cardboard? Mm. Whereas they're, they're quite piquant, they're, they're nice, they've got a, a nice... There's, there's enough body in it. Yeah, there's, they're, they're good. I mm. like it. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving them a, a five. I'll, I'll give them both a five. So for a vegan product, that's, that's a pretty high for you because look, we have tried a lot of vegan products oh, in the past. Yeah, I mean a lot work. of vegan products. Cardboard. Um, my brother used to be a vegan, and um, some of the stuff that we'd get, I I don't know how they eat some of the things. But look, that was like 20 years ago. I think they've come a long way with um, dietary things these days and making sure that you know, everybody's included in what things actually taste good or not. Um, I'm going to give these a four. Um, they're great. I like my meat though, so that's why they're not getting a five. <laughs> yeah, but Nothing can beat an original sausage roll. But look, these are great. I, li I like I like these. And they don't take that long in the oven. Or the microwave. So, that's a 4 from me. That's a 5 from you. That's a 9 out of 10. If you guys have vegan friends, or are vegan yourselves, try these. They're great. Patties, they're in your freezer department. So, look, patties are on board. I'm, I'm pretty sure the next step we probably see is a, is a party pie made from vegan stuff too. But look, we're going to be doing some more vegan testing on a lot of the other vegan meats and stuff that have been coming up in the in the news lately. You know, the um, the the the, the plant-based meat products. We're going to try some of those um, side by side with the actual original type. You know, the meat-based meat products, and see what they taste like too. So look, if you guys like 
plant-based meat products. And look, these these aren't saying that they're they're uh, sausage rolls. They are vegan-friendly rolls. Straight up, they're not trying to be something they're not. They are a vegan roll, which I like. They're not trying to be too much. So that's a nine out of ten. Go and grab them if you can. I I I approve. Oh, Just. Just remember, if you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget any comments, questions, or things I can be doing better in these videos, leave it in the comments field below on YouTube. Maybe you've seen, you've actually seen a party pie made for vegans. Leave it in the comments field. Tell me about it. Tell me what you would score it. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Get notified when I do these. Check out basket episodes of my daily vlogs, Cooking with Craig, Car Maintenance, Everything Explorer, you name it, I film it, and that's up on YouTube. So, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you in the next video. I would happily serve them at a party and or eat them at a party. Yeah. I'm, look, I'm not a big fan of microwave things like these because I like my, my pastry flaky, but there's still a bit of flake happening there. So I'm happy with that.